So Kara, she is um, usually the life of the party. She's really outgoing. She loves people and she's really smart. I mean, there's, uh, she doesn't know how smart she is sometimes, but she is. There's a lot to love about her, so. Um, you know, we like to have a fun. She's got a great um, infectious laugh, so I, I really do, when we joke and have fun and she's laughing, it's, it's, uh, it really gets me, makes me happy, so. I love pretty much everything about him. Uh, I love that he's optimistic all the time. I love that he's constantly um, complimenting me and other people. He's really affectionate. He's really warm and welcoming. He makes everybody feel at home. He's super outgoing. I never have to worry about him in a room of strangers. He'll always find a new best friend. And he loves our cat just as much as I do. Love never looks back, but love keeps on going to the I'm end. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus. And to my love heart, never dies. Die. And one last sentence. Go after a life of love as if your life depended on it. Because it does. You're my person, not the one who completes me, but the one who perfectly compliments me. I vow to always love you, take care of you, be your strongest supporter and your loudest cheerleader. I promise to give you grace and patience when you make mistakes, and I ask that you do the same for me. Life is so much more than this, so where do you go when nothing's like home? about us is that we just make a really good team. We wrote our vows together, we do a lot of things together, we bring out the best in each other, and that's kind of what I'm thinking about today is being up there with Danny, and he's my teammate, and so we're gonna be able to do it. I vow to trust you, respect you, and cherish you, to be affectionate with you, and to go on long walks with you, and above all else, to be your best friend. In my life's just begun pronounce them husband and wife what therefore God has joined together let man not separate and may God the God of peace prosper and bless you in this new relationship and may the grace of Jesus Christ abound unto you now and always amen you may kiss your bride
The first time I met Danny was at the Indy 500 in 2011. Um, and as soon as I saw the two of them interact, my sister met him like the second time we hung out and he kissed me in front of her. I immediately cried and she started crying and had to step away and text my friends and say, I just met the guy that my sister is going to marry. He was the one and it was really weird, but I knew.